Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the focal length of a given concave mirror using uh, optical bench, right? So this is the instrument we are going to use called as optical bench. And here we are going to find the focal length of concave mirror. See, uh, there is already a video on this practical I have already uploaded, which is in dual language, which is in English as well as Kannada. So if you want in the local uh, Kannada language, you can watch that video. Otherwise, this video will be completely in English. Okay. So let us go on to the procedure now without making any delay. We'll start the procedure of this experiment. Okay. This is the instrument we are going to use. There are totally three uprights on that optical bench. This first one is, it is called object pin, right? Sorry, image pin. And the second pin is called object pin. And there is a mirror called as concave mirror. So we are going to find the in focal this length experiment. of this concave mirror. The uprights you can observe here. This is the uh, mirror holder or lens holder. This is one pin and this is the second pin. We use this one as object pin and this one as image pin, right? So this is how the apparatus looks, right? First thing what we have to do is we have to find out the rough focal length of the given concave mirror. So here is the concave mirror and in front of the mirror, so this side is the mirror, in front of the mirror I have held a screen here. So you have to find the rough focal length of the concave mirror by a method called as distant object method. So using uh, this method, I'm going to focus a distant object, which is at a far distance from me. Uh, so let us focus the image of that far distant from the mirror. You can observe the image coming on that screen there. So you, sh you should just go on moving that screen towards the mirror so that at, w at a certain point, at one point, the image gets very clear. You can observe that the window panes are looking very clear, right? So at one point it will be clear, at, otherwise it will be blurred. Right, so you can see that here it is clear, it is getting blurred. So here it is clear. So where it is clear, there you stop the moment of the screen. Yes, now it is clear, you can stop the moment of the screen now and note down the distance between the screen as well as the lens. That is the rough focal length of the given mirror. Okay, you can observe that the image is very clear. I am focusing the window panes not the objects beyond that window. I mean, trees are visible there, but I'm not focusing trees. I'm focusing the window pane. So window panes are very clear. Okay, now you have to note down the distance between the mirror as well as the lens. So you can check here. So the distance between the mirror as well as the lens is, you can check here. The mirror is at 50th division of the scale, right? It is at the 50th division of the scale of the uh, optical bench. And where is the lens? See, sorry, where is the screen? This is 65, this is 61, and it is 62. Uh, sorry, 65, 66, and 67. It is at 67th division. So 67 minus 50, it will be 17, right? That is the rough focal length of the mirror. So this is how we have to find out the rough focal length of the mirror using a distant object method. Okay. Now we have already found the rough focal length of the concave mirror by using distant object method. So the rough focal length we got is 17 centimeter. See, now what we have to do is, see in convex lens, object pin will be on one side of the lens and image pin will be on an opposite side of the lens. But here, both object and image pin will be in front of the mirror. They both will be in front of the mirror itself. So the first pin is called object pin. The second one is called image pin, right? Which is close to us, that is image pin. And the pin which is in front of that, that is object pin. So after knowing the rough focal length, you should keep the object pin at a distance which is greater than 1.5 times of f, 1.5 times of focal length, right? So here, this is the object pin and this is the mirror, mirror uh, and from the mirror, I have to keep it at a distance of 1.5 times of f. So 17 is the rough focal length we have got, right? So double of 17, how much it will be? 34. Right. So 34 or in the surrounding of 34, you can take it beyond 30 or uh, near to 34, you can keep it. So you have to keep at that much distance the object pin. After keeping the object pin at that much distance, you have to observe that object pin in the mirror. You will find the inverted image of that object pin in the mirror. You have to concentrate on that inverted image. See, these both pin will also be visible in, your, in front of your eye. These both pins are straight visible in front of your eye. In the mirror, there is an inverted image of that. And in the mirror, you will also find the inverted image of yourself. So you have to concentrate only on 
the inverted image which is visible in the mirror right inside that concave mirror the inverted image of the object pin you have to concentrate on right inverted image of the object pin you have to concentrate okay so you adjust your eye in such a way that that pin the tip of that pin is visible exactly at the center of that mirror exactly at the center of that mirror you hold your eye you adjust your eye in such a way and then what you have to do is you have to make the adjustments with the image pin and you have to coincide the tip of that image pin see don't look at the inverted image of image pin look at the inverted image of object pin in the mirror and look at the real inverted Im pin uh, image pin in front of your eye so the inverted image of the object pin and the image pin tip both should coincide at the midpoint at the center of the mirror and then you move your eye to the right and left the tips will get separated if they are getting separated then it means that there is a parallax present we have to remove that parallax and then we have to take the image distance right so how to remove the parallax i will show you that step by step and very first thing here object distance and image distance how to measure them object distance is the distance between mirror and the object pin image distance is the distance between mirror and the image pin right so until and unless you remove the parallax you should not take the image distance after removing the parallax then only you have to take the image distance as distance between mirror and the image pin right so keep the object pin at a distance greater than 1.5 times of f and then go on with the practical right okay let us begin without making any delay i will take you to the optical pen now you can observe there is the concave mirror here is the object pin and here is the image pin so to differentiate in between the two pins i have uh, covered it with a green color paper so you can say that this colored pin is object pin and this is image pin see what you have to do is uh, you should hold your eye in such a way that so i will show you that also the inverted image of that tip of that object pin will be visible in the mirror and you should hold your eye in such a way that the inverted image tip of the inverted image is visible at the center of the mirror right so here you can observe the inverted image of that object pin is visible and its tip is exactly at the center of the mirror correct like this you have to hold your eye so hold your eye in, in this way and where the object pin is now object pin is at a distance of 1.5 times of f of the rough focal length right so now we are uh, now the inverted image of that object pin is visible and we have held the eye like this see in front of your eye what all things are visible the image pin this is image pin this is visible to you this is object pin that is also visible to you in the mirror you can find the inverted image of object pin the inverted image of image pin as well as you can find your image right so we have to concentrate only on the inverted image there in the mirror the colored inverted image what you are seeing only on that you have to concentrate right okay so looking at that colored inverted image first thing what you have to do is you make the tip of the image pin and the inverted image tip coincide at the center of the mirror there are totally three adjustments i can tell you here there are totally three adjustments i will tell you so to make the tips coinciding and to remove the parallax what all you can do is you can move this image pin front and back first adjustment second adjustment is you can you can rotate this knob if you rotate this knob the image pin you can see that image pin is horizontally movable it moves horizontally right and you can vary the height of that pin right these are the adjustments you have to do to remove the parallax okay now let us concentrate on how to remove the parallax okay <clears throat> so it is clearly visible that the inverted image of the object pin is clearly visible right so now what we'll do is we'll concentrate on coinciding the tips of the image pin as well as the inverted image tip at the center of the mirror okay now both the tips tip of the image pin and the tip of the inverted image both are coinciding at the center of the mirror like this they have to get coincided this is the first thing there is a slight correction use the knob and you can make that correction there okay so the tips are clearly visible after this what you have to do is you have to see here the image pin is there in front of your eye and in the mirror there is object pin visible now what you have to do you should move your eye to the right as well as left so that the tips are coincided 
or no. You have to check whether the tips remain coincided or they get separated. So if I move my eye to the right side, the tips will get displaced towards the left side. And you can observe that there is a slight horizontal distance in between the tips. They are getting separated. It means the parallaxes at present. So we cannot take the focal length or the image distance right now. Okay. Now you again check at the center at the center okay at the center it is they are coinciding and you move to the left side the tips will move to the right side they are getting separated again right so if they are getting separated like this then it indicates that it means that there is the parallax present we have to remove that parallax now so to remove the parallax as i have told you what all adjustments we can do using those adjustments we have to remove the parallax now i will show you how to remove the parallax let us see how to remove the parallax see the tips are getting coincided at the center now what you do, you move your eye to the left or right side. You can see that the tips are getting separated. So take it to one edge of the mirror. Okay, taking at the edge of the mirror, you can see that the tips are still separated. They are still having a horizontal gap in between them. So what you do, you move this image pin either front or back. If I move it forward, the tips are getting close. If I move it backward, the tips are getting far apart from each other. So move it further until the tips gets coincided. So here you can see the tips are getting coincided at the edge of the mirror. Okay, I will stop the motion and you can check they are getting coincided at this edge of the mirror. Now look at the center. Now check at the center. Okay, at the center there is a slight correction. Make it by using the knob. Right. Okay, now they are coinciding again. Now move on to the left edge of the mirror. At left at the edge of the mirror, they are again coinciding. There is a slight correction. You can make it. Okay. So they have got coincided. Okay, now check at the center again at the center also they are coinciding and at another edge you can see at another edge also they are coinciding so now we can say the parallax has been removed right so like this the tips should get coincided and move until the edge of the mirror then we can say the parallax has been removed after removing the parallax now what you have to do is you have to take the distance between the mirror as well as the image pin so the distance between mirror and image pin is taken as image distance. The distance between mirror as well as object pin is taken as object distance, right? So I will note down the object distance as well as image distance. I will show you also and will further continue. So, so the same procedure we have to repeat for the further trials also, right? For further trials also, what we have to do is we have to move that object pin either one centimeter towards the mirror or away from the mirror, whichever you wish. And we have to continue the same thing. So for every trial, change the object distance by one centimeter, remove the parallax and take the image distance. Like this, three trials we have to take, right? Okay, now let us see the first trial, the object distance as well as image distance of the first trial and we'll continue. That we have removed the parallax and we'll see the distance between the mirror as well as object pin and mirror as well as image pin. So the mirror is placed at 50th division of the scale, 50th division. Where is the object pin? See, this is the object pin. So object pin is kept at 81, 81, right? So 81 means it is at a distance of 31 centimeters, right? So in the surrounding of 1.5, you can keep the object pin in the surrounding of 1.5. 2, 3 centimeters more than 1.5 or 2, 3 centimeters less than 1.5. Totally, final conclusion is that you have to observe the clear inverted image of that object pin in the mirror. There you can keep that object pin. Okay. So the object pin is at a distance of uh, at which uh, division it is? It is at 81st, 81. So 81 minus 30, this is 31. Object distance is 31. What about image distance? See, it is at 50 and this is the image pin, right? This is the image pin. Image pin is at, this is 85, 86, 87, 87.5. Image pin at, is at a distance of 87.5. So 87.5 minus 50, it will be 37.5. So object distance is 31 image distance is 37.5 right so let us note down this rest of the uh, opt, uh, rest of the trials i will take and i will directly come for the calculation now remaining trials will same thing you have to repeat just thing just only thing is you have to change the object distance by one centimeter either towards the mirror or away from the mirror right and note down the re results okay i will directly go for the calculation now rest of the things have been already uh, same thing has to be repeated in the further trials right okay Okay, so I have taken all the readings now. So this is the ray diagram. Uh, here is the object pin. Here is the image pin. So here is the concave mirror. So the distance between the mirror and the object pin is image distance u. 
mirror and the image pin is image distance. This image distance has to be taken after removing the parallax. Okay, rough focal length we had got 17 centimeter, right? First trial object distance we had got 31 and image distance we had got 37.6. So, by using the formula f is equal to u into v divided by u plus v, we get this much. So, further two trials I have done and I have got this much uh, focal lengths. So, the mean focal length is 16.9 centimeter, right? So, it is near to the rough focal length. Okay, that's all about how to find the focal length of a concave mirror. Dear students, if you like the content of this channel, please, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the channel, uh, share the video with your friends, juniors as well as seniors. Thank you so much. Please uh, keep supporting and watching the channel. Thank you.